everybody, welcome back to my channel. And I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dana and I love helping your online business grow. Today's tutorial is really exciting because it's all about how to make an SVG file or a cutting file for Cricut and Silhouette, which is such a big craze these days with your cutting machines. I personally don't own one, but I want, I've always wanted one just to play around with it. But I do know how to make the files that you need to, to upload into Design Space. So this tutorial is mostly about if you wanna sell SVGs in your Etsy shop or on your own website, this is the right video for you. To avoid getting in massive trouble, do not steal anyone's intellectual property. Always check the commercial licensing on anything that you use. In the US, a good place to go is USPTO.gov. Okay, on the home screen, we're gonna to go to create a design. And if you scroll all the way down, you see custom, and that's what I hit. Um, and then I'm gonna click 3000 by 3000 pixels. You can always type that in if you don't have that. Um, and I'm gonna rename this file SVG Designs. All right, so I'm gonna make a sips and trips and we're gonna go up to elements first because I'm looking for a coffee element. Um, and Canva just changed this, but it, it, it's pretty still self-explanatory. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna type in coffee outline because SVG files need to be outlined to make it easy for people to weed when they, when they use a cutting machine. So I like to make them easy. So anyways, I want to select free because I don't know if people who are watching this all have Canva Pro, if no one has Canva Pro and they're only using free. So I'm going to go and click the static and the free uh, in the filter that you just saw me do. All right, so I'm just going to look around real quick to see if I find a design that stands out to me. I don't really want it filled in with color but because like I said, SVG cutting files, they're usually layered. And when you upload them into Design Space, there's usually different uh, layers that stack up on top of each other. And so we wanna make it as easy as possible. So I'm gonna make a pretty flat uh, design here. This, this is good, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. I don't really like the center of this. It's not very easy to see. And I think that'd be really hard to cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look for something else. Now Canva has a cool way of having these magic recommendations, which is perfect because it was hard for me to find this just by typing in, right? So I'm gonna to pick this one for now. But as you can see, there's a lot more magic recommendations that you can go into if this one still isn't your cup of tea. All right, so next I want to go up here and type in the word line because I just want a separator. I'm going to go to graphics and I don't know why it's, it's hard for me to find a line right now, but I'm going to try to find one. Um, oh, that one's different. I just want a standard line. Okay, so since I can't find that right now and I don't want to make you guys wait, I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to flip it over to 90 degrees. You can see the degrees there. Change it to black. Um, I don't like this box at the end, the square, so I'm gonna crop it out. So I just hit crop, make this a little smaller. Hit crop and crop that box out by simply just dragging the edges over the box. Perfect, okay. So now I'm just gonna put this in the center here, try to line it up as much as possible. Um, and then I'm gonna go and look for the, a target, like a bullseye. Because Sips and Trips is kind of insinuating that you love Starbucks and that you love Target runs. All right, so this one's good. I like this. But again, I don't want it red. So I'm going to center this a little bit, make it a little bit, uh, I don't know. I think that looks good for right the second. But we're going to go up and um, change the color of that Target to black. So go up here, change it to black. All right, now I'm going to add text. So I'm going to go over, I'm going to make this a little smaller first, move it down. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm happier. I don't know if I'm super happy with the target, but we'll, we'll mess with that later. Let's go over to our text box and add 
some text. Okay, text, and we're going to add a heading. Okay, make this bigger, move it under my coffee, and then I'm going to put in the word sips. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to play around with some uh, fonts. My favorite font right now is in the Amsterdam family. Um, you'll see that there's four different types of Amsterdam. And I don't know, it's too big of an S. Let me keep playing around. I like it, but it might not work. Let me see. No, I think I'm gonna just stick with Amsterdam 3 since that has a smaller S. Okay, I, I like that, that's not too bad. So I'm gonna go back to Amsterdam 3 and then I'm gonna copy and paste by using Command C and Command V, but you know, obviously you might have different hotkeys than me. I have a MacBook. So I'm gonna center this, make an and, um, and then I'm going to center this a little bit more. Go back to my Sipson and copy again, put it under the target, and then I'm gonna put trips and, you know. Okay, let me move these trips over a little bit more, and I'm happy with that, okay. I selected everything to make it bigger. Okay, I'm not happy with this coffee, so I'm gonna try to look for another one and show you how easy it is to change it. Going back to elements, typing in coffee outline. Um, you can always type in anything you want. I'm gonna go to these magic recommendations and I'm gonna go and pick this one with the circle in the front because it's more Starbucks-y. <laughs> Make it bigger. Um, I wish the outline was a little thicker of a line, but it's, it's okay. You guys get the point of what I'm doing here. Okay, I don't like this target either. It's too, I don't like that it's only two, uh, two circles. All right, so I'm gonna go down and, okay, I like this one because it has three, so it looks a little bit cleaner and it just looks better, <laughs> better all around. All right, let's move this, make it smaller. Ah, ah, make it smaller and move it up. So I'm much happier with this. Um, now we're going to move it up a little bit and then we're going to download. So now we're, let's say we're done with our SVG. Now we wanna make it an SVG, right? So I'm gonna go up to here and make it a ping with a transparent background, which you can only do if you have a Canva Pro. However, so I'm gonna download this right now, put it on my, put it on my um, desktop. And, but if you don't have Canva Pro and you wanna do this for free, download it as a JPEG, okay? I have, to, I have the option to make the quality better, so I always do that. So I'm downloading as a JPEG, and then I'm gonna go to removebg.com. Okay, removebg.com. And I'm just gonna drag and drop this JPEG right into removebg. So as you can see, it looks great here. Now, you can download it in HD, but I, you have to sign up. I'm just gonna download the regular download. See, if you hit download HD, it's going to ask you to sign up. I don't need to sign up. You might want to, to keep the size and the resolution. So I know this looks crazy right now, but this is what it looks like on my Mac preview. And if you go up to tools, you can go to change size, and I can make the resolution 300 DPI. Now, if you don't have a MacBook, that's why I recommend signing up so you can get that size. Okay, moving back to our Canva template. I wanted to quickly show you that Canva Pro does have the option to download as SVG, but what I have found is that it still needs some work. It's pretty new for Canva, and what I found is that when I download that, people can only open that SVG in uh, design space, but they can't open it in anything else, like Photoshop or Illustrator, it turns out blank. So I go to this website called Convergio. They have a free plan. And what you can do is you can simply drag and drop uh, the ping that you downloaded either with RemoveBG or from Canva Pro. And you can download it right here, and then you can switch it to SVG and hit convert. Convergio has a paid 
subscription, if you are downloading lots of files and converting lots of files on the daily. But if you just if you're just converting one, it's no it's no big deal at all. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And if this helped you, please don't forget to give it a like as it really helps my channel grow. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.